In this video, I've got some proper awesome inspiration for you for Dead Man's Fingers Raspberry Rum. If you haven't got the raspberry rum, don't worry, you can use normal rum, a bit of raspberry liqueur, something like that. But you are going to want to stay tuned for this recipe. Welcome back, drinks fans. Another DMF recipe. As I said in the previous one, I thought it was about time I started rocking out some, uh, some more Dead Man's Fingers stuff, but especially coming up to summer months. This cocktail is flipping awesome. It is phenomenal. Absolutely love it. It's very bold in flavour. Got hints of mango, got hints of apricot going on there. The raspberry punch is through. But there's a really quirky, unusual uh, ingredient in there, which really comes out to play really prominently. It kind of gives it a little tart edge to it, but a real fruity berry kind of note. So you are you are going to want to see the recipe for this in a second. Uh, big shout out. We've called this. Actually, I'll run you through the other contenders, my little legends community, my little membership club. Uh, start naming these cocktails now, and these will go into my cocktail book, which is getting released uh, summer 2021. It's going to be cool. Heads up. Uh, what's that? Spoiler alert. There we go. Uh, so uh, Pretty got involved with this one. She called it uh, Tiki Rum Juice. Uh, Paul has got Park Your Rum uh, there. Andy went Port of the Tropics. I like that. Uh, but this, the kind of, you know, one of these words is going to kind of give the game away of what's in here. But I actually went with Ross. Ross with this. I love this. This is called, this cocktail is called Hangover Port 2. Like it, hangover port two. Right, let's run you through the ingredients for this. Obviously, we've got Dead Man's Fingers raspberry rum here. Again, alternatives, think normal or aged rum, a um, bit of raspberry liqueur, you get anything like Chambord, um, the Jiffard bowls, whatever you kind of fancy, they'll all kind of work. Slightly different in taste, obviously, but if you can't get DMF raspberry, this will work quite well. Uh, I've got some Jiffard posh elderflower liqueur. I've got some of uh, Mummy Barman's port. Uh, so we're going for a little bit of port in here. This could be a bit crazy. Uh, I've got some apricot, morning apricot syrup, some mango juice, and some freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, sorry, lemon juice for this one. Right. So uh, first ingredient, I'm going 45 ml, one and a half ounces of DMF raspberry. There. Perfect. These. You know, it's not a, it's not an out and out sweet um, sort of raspberry kind of flavoured. Right, it's kind of rum sort of forward with like subtle raspberry notes to it. It's quite it's quite tasty. So uh, we're going for Giffard's elderflower um, liqueur now, fifteen ml. Of course, what's the other one? Um, mental block. Can't think of the other one. What's the, what's the what's the what's the famous elderflower liqueur? Oh my god, mental block. I can't think. It will come to me in like two minutes time. San man, there we go. <laughs> so you could use that instead. Uh, as I say, some of Mummy B's um, port. I'm going for 30 mil, actually. 30 mil of port. This will give it uh, a little bit of tartness to the cocktail. cocktail. A bit of fruitiness, but a bit of tartness as well. Uh, I'm going to then match that. This might be a bit sweet for some of you, but the lemon juice will rain in. I'm going to match that with uh, 30 mil of uh, the apricot syrup as well. So 3-0 apricot syrup. Perfect, there we go. Uh, and then if I just dangle that there to let it drain out, uh, then I'm going for my lemon juice. So I want 22 and a half ml of lemon juice. So three quarters of an ounce there, perfect. It's actually 25. Uh, and then I'm going for 30 ml of mango juice. My little, my little Rubicon. Should, might just finish this little carton off if I've got enough in the cart. Yeah, I have. Yeah, ooh, maybe, maybe another shot in there. 30 ml of mango juice. Perfect, right. Uh, so just gonna ice this down, give it a good old shake. Perfect. Drop an ice cube on the floor. Right, half ice shake, 10 to 12 seconds. Right. Right, when that is nicely shaken down. Uh, I'm just gonna do a dirty dump or shake and dump, whatever you're gonna call it. I've got my little, my little tiki glass here. I'm gonna use this one. I've got a load up there on the top shelf. I just thought, let's, let's use it. I used this in a live stream a couple of weeks ago. I thought, yeah, let's crack it out a bit. So uh, you can strain over fresh ice if you want, or just uh, do a dirty dump, shake and dump. In there, that is nearly Perfect. You can top up with crushed ice if you want. I'm just going to top up with a bit more cubed ice. And then the garnish for this, uh, I've just got like little, little lime, pineapple and cherry kebab. How's that? 
Right, if you want even more Dead Man's Fingers cocktails, they'll be popping up on screen right there beside me. Uh, as always, if you like the recipe, if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up, please. And if you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you subscribe to the channel.